play of the night. Sponsored by Western Illinois University. Hey, let's get to our play of the night. It comes from Spartan Stadium. Ryan Doyle with the huge interception in the second quarter. It was 7 up at that point. The pick six makes it 14 0. Pleasant Valley extremely impressive on this night. They go on to knock off Cedar Rapids Prairie. Rusty Ben Witzing and company 1 0 on the young season. Welcome back to the score, and we're grilling and doing a whole bunch of football. And there you have it, folks. James Zahara doing yeah. more work. I've been working with you for 22 years. I am sweating. I've never seen you sweat. <laughs> I have eyebrows and still? Unfortunately. My eyebrows are gone. Un Barely. Yeah. And we're lucky it's not smell -o vision because this <laughs> smells smell good. Yeah. I don't know how great James smells right uh, now. I don't, don't want to go there. Okay, so what do you got? Go well, take us through it. Well, it's really nice with, with the burgers. You know, what we like always like to do is a little ground beef, but also mix it with Italian sausage. And you got mild, you got hot. You're speaking oh, our you're language. You're speaking our language. There we go. Language. I mean, Pop that brings meat. the taste down. Of course, little seasonings with that, which is no big deal. Of course, you got your brats, you got your dogs. And those jalapeno well, uh, poppers. Are we, are we confident about those up there? Well, I would think so. Well, who's going to be the, uh, the guinea pig? Matt here? Mitchell's going to eat all of them. <laughs> Our producer <laughs> might he eat all those. of them. Yeah. So we're going to keep him working. We're going to get all back right. to the highlights, and we will go right to the LTC. A big matchup here as we take you to Monmouth. Monmouth Roseville hosting Kiwani. Monroe's trailing 7 0 in first half, but. Driving down the field, Silas Braun goes up top. Great catch by C.J. Johnson in traffic. Down into the red zone a few plays later, it's Braun swinging it out to Jerome Johnson. He fights his way into the end zone. Two-point conversion no good, though. It was 7-6 at the half. Second half, back come the Boilermakers. Brady Clark scrambles and finds Jaden Little. He turns it into a big game. And a few plays later, after this big game, Gain, I should say. He'll finish the job. Little in from two yards out. Just like that, we're tied at 14. But Monmouth Roseville not done. It's Braun with the shovel pass coming up right here to Jerome Johnson. And if he's a if he's if it's a track meet, he's winning it. Outrunning everyone 65 yards. Touchdown Titans. We'll show you a final score as they go on to win a big one. 22 to 16. Your final score and we are back with the head coach of Monmouth Roseville, our good friend Jeremy Adolphson joining us via Zoom right now. Coach, congratulations. Talk about this win because this team was really good, especially through last year. I know you like what you got. A statement victory to get a win like this early on in the season. Absolutely. It was it was kind of an ugly week one type game. Lots of penalties, lots of mistakes, but I thought our kids really stepped up, uh, played really, really hard. And, and our big play guys, our senior guys that had to step up, uh, they did it for us and, and made some huge plays, and the guys persevered and found a way to pull it out against a, a very salty uh, q one team. When you have those guys back, you still probably had some question marks going in. Did you get some of those questions answered by your team tonight? Absolutely. Yeah, you know, you, you could tell it was week one, a lot of jitters, a lot of new guys, and, and I just put the pressure on our older guys. Like, you guys got to step up and play with the guys you're capable of, and then you'll take those other guys with you. They'll get comfortable when you make them comfortable, and, and that's really what happened for us. Uh, in the second half, all of our four-year starters came up big, or three-year starters came up big for us. And then you saw some of those role guys really stepping up and playing with confidence. And and like I said, just overcame some some mistakes, uh, fought through it. And, and like I said, you got to see all those smiling faces at the end. And uh, the good news is we're cleaning up things after a victory. Uh, you're not cleaning up things after walking off the field, shaking your head, wondering how one got away. So really proud of the kids tonight. Hey, Coach, we've done a lot of these talkbacks and people have been in buses on the field. You're in your living room. One, you got home early. The TV behind you isn't on. When, when, it, when you're done with this, you're going to turn on our show, right? Absolutely, yeah. I, just, I wasn't sure about the feedback, how all that stuff was going to work. So I've been, I've been kind of nervous. I've been sitting here for about 15 minutes making sure I was ready to go. But, yeah, we, we got home, got things put away at the field. And, uh, yeah, it feels really nice to, uh, to be here and be talking to you guys after a victory. Obviously, got to win to do that. So really happy about that. But we'll be uh, clicking off here and turning on TV within uh, 30 seconds or so. <laughs> hey, I, I would be horrified if somebody went live in my living room with my kids, so it looks great behind you. And also, I'm heading down to Monmouth tomorrow morning for a 5K, so tell Coach Jamie Smith and Ball Boy Keegan to get a lot of rest because we're going to be running in the morning. You could bring me some donuts maybe over to the race. Would that Absolutely, work? we can do that. I, I, I think after tonight I won't sleep very much anyway. I'll be up bright and early and meet you there. <laughs> that sounds great. Coach, thank you so much. Best of luck the rest of the way. We'll talk soon. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you.
All right, let's get back to the highlights. We go to Edgington now, where Rock Ridge is welcoming sixth-ranked Princeton, and I'm guessing Jerry Burt shot that because we had a nice little whip zoom to start. Jerome! Tegan Davis, 85-yard <laughs> touchdown, second play of the second half. That'll make it a 28-14 game. Rock Ridge will look to answer, and they'll do it on the ground as well as it's Peyton Locke. Getting to the outside, and he'll pick up 20 yards, but they would be held there uh, fourth and one. They could not get that first down. More from Princeton. It's Brady Byers into the flat, and he'll go 40 yards. It will eventually get them down inside the 10-yard line, and it's then C.J. Hickey, four yards for the touchdown, 35-14 at that point. Taylor, excuse me, Princeton looking good with a 41-22 win. Big 19-point victory for the Tigers. Let's check out Newman and Morrison. Of course, Mike LeMay making his debut back at his alma mater. Defense is going for Comets. Morrison going for it on fourth down early on. Comets defense stack it up. They get the ball back. Later in the first quarter, Newman with the football once again. J.J. Castle will bobble it, picks it up, finds Nolan Britt for a... Nice catch and a big first down to move the chains. Newman would cap off the drive. Hunter Luyando goes in for the touchdown from two yards out. Having 6 nothing after the first quarter. We'll check out the final score for Morrison. It's Newman winning this one 28-6, your final score. Let's go to Charger Field and Orion is Chip Filet's Chip Filler. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. And Chip, Chip Filler. Filler. Two of my favorite things. Two things that are great. Together. They're hosting Hall. <laughs> Chargers, first possession, they hand off to Cole Kratzberg. Nice run there for a first down. They finish off the drive with Kratzberg, five-yard touchdown. Orion grabbing a quick 7-0 lead, but on the ensuing kickoff, Coach, if you're watching, turn away just for a minute. You don't want to see this one again. Mack Resetich for Hall picks it up, and he'll go far sideline. You're not going to catch him 67 yards. If he's watching, come if on. He's watching. He's watching. I tell him to turn away. <laughs> hey, his son played quarterback as a freshman, had a really good game. Two touchdowns through the air, two touchdowns on the ground, and it's Orion going on to win this one by a final score of 42 to 12. Hey, let's head to Mercer County. They were taking on sixth ranked Farmington, and boy, the Golden Eagles came to play in this one. William Fredrickson. Fooling Jerry Burt once again, going 27 yards. Nice pickup there. And a few plays later, it's Matthew Lucas going in from three yards out. Home team looking good at beautiful George Pratt Memorial Field. 6-0, Mirko with the early lead, but they weren't done. They go for the two-point conversion. Colby Cox will run it in for the two. 8-0 Mercer County early on, but they were just getting warmed up. Later, it's Cox again, this time doing it through the air as he connects with Olin Relander. This one covers 22 yards and goes all the way to the end zone. Nice moves, break and tackles the entire way. 14-0 at that point. Mercer County with maybe the most impressive victory in week number one, 24-8 over a very good Farmington team. Let's stay in the Three Rivers. United welcoming Anawan Weathersfield to town. First drive of the season for the Red Storm. They get off to a great start. Abel Wilson on the QB keeper. Defenders miss. Jumping over guys, leaping over guys. A big game down to midfield later in the drive. United going for it on fourth down, but the Titans defend Matthew Sentney. Coming up with a stop, and the Titans the take over the on downs. They waste no time getting it into the end zone. It would be Dylan Horry handing off to Zeb Rashid. And the sophomore shakes some defenders, gets to the sidelines. 41 yards for the it's touchdown. Greg Armstrong. Greg Armstrong all over that play. Checking out a final score. Hey, it is Anawan Weathersfield winning 35-16. Hey, let's go to Fulton, eighth-ranked Fulton, welcoming Galena to town second quarter in this one. The steamer defense looking good. Connor Sheridan with the pretty interception. Fulton still up 14 0 at that point. That would lead to this field goal. Alfonso, zoom in a little bit, buddy. There's the ball going through. 44 yard field goal. That made it 17 0 at the half. Third quarter, Fulton back at it again. Braden Dykstra will find Ryan Eads for the 19 yard touchdown pass. That made it 24 0. We will check out a final score from up in Fulton. Steve, put the season in the style. 
Next, we head to Ridgewood. It's the Wildcats and the Spartans and some eight-man football. Gava is down, but not out just yet. Wildcat workhorse Jet Olsen goes right down Broadway. 10 yards TD, that makes it 38 to six. But the Spartans get busy later in the second. Riley Couture gives it to Taylor Snook on the jet sweep. He picks up 25 yards before being pushed out of bounds. And then just a few plays later, Ridgewood punches in another score. That's Gavin McDonough bolting 20 yards untouched to extend the lead 46 to six. Let's take a look at the final on this run. Ridgewood rolling 46. To six, hey, still in the fourth. Let's check out those scores that Brian Stocking's been working very hard at. Sherrard falling in their opener, but an impressive performance by the Tigers. Erie Prophetstown puts up 54. They beat Mendota. It's Princeville and Knoxville. This one going to Knoxville, 54 to 20. They're over Williamsville. They're going to be good this year. All over A Town. Bureau Valley gets a victory on the first. Actually, I should say they lose their first game of the year. Stark County gets a win as they win easily. It's West Carroll and Dupac. This one goes to Dupac. Rock Falls falling to, or I should say Amboy and Polo 28 to 12 in that one. And maybe one more board, maybe one more not board. Live TV at its finest. If it's not, just come back out to me. That's okay, I'm okay. We got food, so coming out to us. A little taste test. Uh, it's got, what we got? You talk. Uh, like I said, you just got a nice uh, burger right there with some Italian sausage mixed in. Of course, then you got the jalapeno poppin'. Okay, so I, because Corey's like my 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 wingman here, we, we, I'm going to eat the burger. Cuff, you like spicy I'll, stuff. Power of attorney here. Too. I, <laughs> I do like I do like spicy things. Right, so okay. Let's see how this goes. Give it a here. shot. Bacon looks, One bite, everyone bacon knows looks the good. Room. Hopefully not too high. Oh, boy, Ooh. that's a lot of jalapeno. Oh, boy. Hey, What's the it's fantastic. The fire department, I think, it's is good stuff. Radical. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back here on the score. I'm Super Bowl champion Jake Gervas, and whenever I'm back in the Quad Cities, I check out the score with Matt and Corey on WQAD.